Hi, this is Aditya and welcome to Shankam Mark Tech channel. Many of you have asked me to show how to create a website from the scratch using AEM, including creation of the custom components and other backend stuffs, which I'll start doing soon. But before that, I've also been getting multiple questions as to how can we download AEM jar and uh, is career, how to plan the career in AEM and how can we prepare for uh, interview and other uh, questions. So as a beginning video, I would like to address all these questions in detail. I have been responding to you using the comments, but I thought it will be better uh, to do a in detail video on all these topics so that it will be useful to you. If you are liking the videos which I am doing, please subscribe to my channel and please hit on the bell button so that you get notified whenever a new video gets updated. Let's get started with the presentation. So the first question is how can we download the AEM jar? So to understand that we need to understand what is the Adobe's business model as far as AEM is concerned. Okay, Adobe does not deal directly with developers. Okay, so Adobe deals with business partners and business partners in turn will deal with the developers. Okay, so business partners are like uh, IT companies uh, who has AEM projects and who have partnered with Adobe's team. So what they get these business partners, right? They get the these uh, Adobe JAR licenses and other training materials uh, from the Adobe team. Okay, and these business partners has developers, right? So it is the job of these business partners to train their developers in AEM using Adobe Steam. Okay, so this is how the entire structure works. So having said this, let us see how you can uh, get the AEM JAR. So there are two cases here. The first case is uh, uh, you are already a developer who is working with Adobe's business partner. So if you are working in any of the major IT company, I don't want to take any of the names here, but if you are already working with any of the major IT company, then the chances are that uh, uh, that company is already uh, the Adobe's business partner. So you might want to check internally with uh, your team, just get connected using LinkedIn or any other internal channels uh, with the respective Adobe's team in your organization. Okay, so this is all straightforward stuff which I'm uh, saying. Uh, but uh, I would like to give a hint that uh, this Adobe practice or AEM practice would come under customer experience business unit uh, generally because this, uh, this is used to develop the website which is facing the customer, right? So this will be part of the customer experience business unit. So you just have to uh, check with uh, within your organization and it all depends upon your organization policies, rules and how good you are at the communication skills in getting this uh, AEM jar. Okay, so this is about uh, uh, the developers who are already working with Adobe's business partners. And the second case is if you want to get a jar as an individual uh, and not as a employee of any of the Adobe's business partner, then your options are very less uh, because Adobe doesn't deal directly with the uh, developers. It deals only with the business partners. So there are two options here for you. Okay, so the first option is uh, get the formal training. Okay, so here the trainer, you enroll with any of the organization who is providing the AEM training. Here the business partner would be that AEM organization which is providing you the training. Okay, that will be the business partner of Adobe and they will provide you the jar and give you the training also and you can attend some live sessions and uh, get uh, your AEM training completed and uh, and also get your jar uh, so that you can do the hands-on. Okay, so I am giving the link uh, uh, in the description for one of the training. Uh, I have not personally taken this training. Uh, so don't take this as a recommendation of that particular course or any of the review. I haven't taken that course, but it is just uh, uh, as a uh, as a hint or suggestion, I, can, I am just giving that link to you so that uh, you get an idea on what all options you have. And the second uh, stuff is like you can focus on concepts rather than tools. Okay, so this would be my preferred approach rather than going uh, you spending uh, money in AEM training. Don't depend on the tool because if uh, if the demand is gone for AEM, if there is any better tool in the market then demand goes out for AEM. But the concept will remain same. Any of the content management concepts will remain same. 
so take some tool and focus on the concepts uh, rather than on the aem so once you understand the concepts then you can relate those concepts in aem world then it will be very easy for you uh, to uh, quickly learn any tool not only just aem any tool okay so this is my uh, this is my preferred approach uh, to con uh, focus on the concepts rather than the tool so having said that uh, then the next question is how can uh, the individual who doesn't have the jar can focus on the concept and learn uh, and get into AEM job because AEM is uh, one of the most demanded uh, uh, jobs right now it is in full demand so people want to get into AEM how can you get into AEM job uh, by just having theoretical knowledge in AEM so that's what we are going to discuss now okay so first thing which you need to know is the website development all the concepts regarding the website development you must know okay so the first uh, singular concept is what are web components right uh, so so what is a web comp a component and what is a content so that you need to know like for example if this is a page which you want to render this is an article page right if you see here uh, there is an image here and there is a title here and there is an article content right so if i see the content part so only these three things are are there so in the AEM world what happens is uh, you just give a dialog box here you say uh, what is the image path and what is article title and uh, and uh, what is the article content okay so dialog box is nothing but a form okay you just fill out this form and article content will be a rich text editor something like a word editor okay you just go and edit uh, your stuff and you will save it so this content will go and get saved in jcr which is a java content repository which is like a database no sql database okay so this content is getting saved as part of the database okay and then uh, you get that content and using this web component you just render it using some html and css uh, stuff you will get the content from the database and you will render it okay so in render it in the ui like this okay so here you will give the image tag and the image path you will put it in the src tag and here article title you will render it as h1 like that you will use the html and render it so this is the basic concept of uh, the web components and contents right so now let us see how this uh, aem is working okay so this is the web browser okay so this is the web browser and from web browser you are giving the request and here you have the AEM UI components and this is all OSGI and Sling framework and here you have this uh, AEM UI component uh, which is HTML and JavaScript which would say how to render the content and the content itself is saved in the JCR okay so once the client uh, requests for a page uh, then all this process happens it and the output will be sent as the HTML pages so this is what you need to remember okay whenever you uh, pull the aem in this format right you go through aem ui components jcr then the output is html and there is a limitation here okay which we need to understand that uh, this this website is suitable only for the web browsers okay uh, either in the desktop or mobile to open a website you need to open the web browser okay so that is the limitation here so here in this case what are all the concepts involved right you need to know html you need to know javascript you need to know css to be able to uh, code this particular ui component right and also you need to know something about what is a sling framework how do you connect with this jcr no sql database using sling framework how do you retrieve the content and uh, what is the syntax uh, uh, to change that content into this uh, pure html format and send it to the page okay so these are all the concepts involved okay in this uh, world right one is html javascript css uh, servlet uh, and sling framework and osj in general so these are all the uh, high level concepts which are involved okay so if you are focusing on this world then you can uh, start with this concept like what is a uh, basic servlet and you use any of the uh, any of the jsp or uh, servlet or any framework right uh, and you can uh, any framework not only sling framework you use any framework uh, and try to build a uh, application you have to actually build some web application using these concepts then you will be fully aware as to how the entire flow works 
then it will be easy for you to relate as to what exactly this link framework is doing and OHA container is doing. You can relate those concepts. Okay, so this is one thing. And the second thing is uh, uh, we have newly coming concepts. This is a headless CMS and everyone is moving towards this headless CMS now. So whatever demand you have for this route, right, the same amount of demand or more we have with this uh, headless CMS approach. So in this approach, what happens is you have a content here. What do we mean by content? Like we have the content here, right? So this is what we mean by content, the article content. So what if I want to show this article, the same article, I want to show it on my website uh, using web browser, okay, in a desktop. And also I want to use the same content for my mobile app also. So mobile app is built in the native applications, right? Uh, and what if I have a single page applications using the react angular or uh, view right so what if I have got an application with this uh, SPS and native apps and I want to render the same article on the mobile or any other device so then what happens is instead of uh, storing that particular content in JCR as we are doing here the content which we have here earlier we used to save it in the JCR but now what we do is we uh, create what is called as content fragment in AEM which is part of the digital asset management okay DAM okay AEM DAM and we put the content here so the advantage of this is this content can be accessed using APIs uh, so this native apps and uh, single page applications will give an API call uh, to this uh, asset management or uh, this, this uh, content fragment and it will get a response in JSON and once the response we got it as JSON, this native application will have its own component uh, to render that particular uh, content. So this approach is called as a headless CMS approach. And now there is a good demand for this headless CMS approach also. And the advantage of this approach is you just need to know 20% of how AEM works. So here, what are we doing? Either we are doing a native mobile application or a single page application. Right, so native mobile application or single page application, and the content is just there in the asset DAM, which is AEM DAM. Okay, so all you need to know is what all uh, objects you need to import in your native app and how exactly you need to access this content fragment. Okay, if there is any GraphQL layer in between and how to uh, do the GraphQL and other stuff. Uh, so those are the concepts. So here in this case, right, uh, you just need to know 20% of the AEM and 80% is the other stuff which is already open source and you can have a hands-on experience uh, in this part. So my suggestion would be that you start off with this part. Okay, start doing learning some uh, native mobile apps or uh, single page application and have some theoretical knowledge in this uh, how to access these APIs and how to how AEM works in general have a theoretical knowledge on that and then with that experience you can uh, just start applying the jobs and I think you should be good to uh, get recruited because you have a good hands-on experience in this part okay you can already download this and start uh, doing hands-on though you don't have the jar you can start with this one Okay, so then uh, what is the suggestion I am giving like the, what are the resources if you want to go this route, what are the resources which you can access, right? So the first step is uh, learn React. Okay, so I am giving the Udemy link uh, uh, which I like most. Okay, so uh, this one uh, is what I like. Okay, this I am clearly saying but you can just check what are all the options available and uh, uh, maybe from, the, from them you can choose one. Okay, so first thing is learn React. You can even learn Angular, but uh, React is the quite uh, popular framework right now. So it is better to learn React. And then uh, the second one which you can do is you can implement the e-commerce application using Strapi. Okay, Strapi is also a open source headless CMS. Okay, so this is also one of the popular CMS. The popularity of Strapi is growing right now. Okay, you can uh, you can use this headless CMS and develop an e-commerce application okay so this also have a we have a udemy link the link i'm i'll share it in the description box you can check it out okay so just go through that course and see what all concepts are involved in developing an e-commerce application using a headless cms 
currently it is strappy but later on you can replace the strappy with aem and then you can think like how, how whatever concepts which strappy is giving how aem is giving that right so that you can very quickly learn aem and get into that world and not only aem uh, tomorrow if there is any other headless cms which is getting popular you can learn that too once you know the concepts okay so this is the session i am giving so this will lead uh, uh, us to our next question as to how to prepare for the interview okay so many of uh, uh, you have been asking me for interview questions so my humble suggestion for you all is don't prepare for the interview questions okay again there are two cases here right fresher and experienced okay so if you are a fresher and you do if you are just out of the college and if you want to join uh, some organization then i would suggest you do some project okay uh, take some udemy course and develop uh, some real time project and you can put that uh, as an open source in git and whatever experience you have gained by developing that project you can showcase that okay either if you are fresher to aem or fresher uh, uh, who who is out of the college right same approach for both of them okay so develop a project taking the udemy courses Uh, put it as open source understand those concepts and you tell like you have implemented that particular uh, show that uh, bitbucket link you have implemented that project and what all were your experiences in uh, in developing that project in that way interviewer gets a good idea that you have some hands on experience right so otherwise if he starts asking interview questions you may be able to answer by reading those interview questions but if i just ask you like where exactly have you implemented that concept for which requirement uh, then it will be very difficult for you to answer those questions right so don't go into this stuff of interview questions uh, try to do hands on and uh, learn the concept and then explain that concept and if you are experienced person and looking for a job change uh, if you are experienced in aem then also don't look for the interview questions instead you prepare a list of all the activities you have worked on so and try to present your experience in a better way okay can you tell whatever you have worked on for at least for 15 or 20 minutes like what all you have learned uh, by working in aem and what all functionalities you have worked can you uh, explain at least for 15 minutes okay and if there is any question in that particular thing which you have worked on can you answer that focus only on that one and not on the interview questions okay so if you take these things into consideration then i think you can do a better job in the interview that's it in this video if you are liking the videos which i am doing please hit on the like button and please subscribe to my channel thank you